welcome to the Minnesota State Fair. We're gonna check out some of the animals today with the 4-H'ers. We're gonna check out some of my favorite foods and we're gonna have a great time. Come on along. So one of my favorite things about coming to the Minnesota State Fair is all of the different food. This is deep fried chocolate chip cookie dough on a stick. The first thing I'm trying today, and we'll see how it is. That's really good. One of the new foods this year at the fair, duck bacon wontons. I'm a little unsure about this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Actually, not too bad. If we can show Washington that we can do it better here in Minnesota, they should maybe follow our example. One of my favorite haunts when I'm at the Capitol is Mancini's, and I wanted to make sure that I checked out Mancini's booth here at the State Fair and tried some of their food. I'm joined today by Pat Mancini, and Pat, tell me a little about your own story. Yeah, well, Mancini started in 1948 on West 7th Street in St. Paul. Been around 70 years next year. My father and my grandfather started it. This year, my son Nick, who's a chef, put together what we call the Italian Bamba. And what it is, it's we Beer braised pork shoulder. We slow roast it for six hours in the oven all oh, wow. We break it up, we put on a little fontina cheese, coto ham, Italian jardinera, and garlic aioli on a grilled ciabatta roll. And it's a mouthful, but it's great. Awesome. Now you're gonna let me try this one. Absolutely. And I, I was watching, and I think you made this yourself, right? I made it with my own hands. You know, you gotta know how to do this stuff. So this is the stuff. real deal. Wow, that is awesome. It's an Italian Great version sandwich. of a Cubano sandwich. Awesome, really good. Now we have one of the very special guests, um, Kurt Dell, who is the current Speaker of the House of the State of Minnesota from Crown, Minnesota. Uh, he actually raises some beef cattle. And we, had, we had a sheep farm in Princeton. And uh, so I brought sheep to the fair every year. And those of us in the legislature are really proud to support uh, the University of Minnesota through the Extension Service and all of the great work that they do through the 4-H the program. <laughs> One of my favorites every time I come to the State Fair is the turkey sandwich from the Turkey To Go booth behind me. This has been my favorite for 20 years. And I just found out they actually go through about 25,000 turkeys uh, making these sandwiches here at the State Fair uh, every year.
One thing that you have to do if you come to the State Fair is get one of the shakes or malts at the dairy building uh, and support our dairy industry. And I'm joined today by uh, a couple of my dairy farming friends, uh, David and Taylor Buck. Taylor's here showing some, some uh, uh, well, tell us what you're showing. Showing a dairy what? steer, crossbred dairy steer. Okay, and you showed this morning. I was there for your, for your class. Tell me how you did. Yeah, I got second in my class, then third overall crossbred, and then for the senior showmanship, I got third. Awesome, thanks for doing what you do, and I'm gonna try out the, the raspberry malt, which is my favorite, at the Minnesota State Fair. I can't eat anymore. Thanks for joining me today at the fair. Make sure to get out here and try some of my favorites. Have a great time at the fair.